18 now. Want to try again? Others drive long distances. 31-year-old Eric Rubelkava comes from Houston, more than four hours away. Hi. Hi. Come on in. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Online, he calls himself Sunset Liquid and talks romantically to the girl posing as a 13-year-old, saying he wants to kiss her everywhere. And lick you all over. Really? Lick me? Yes. He makes it clear he means oral sex, both giving and receiving. Could that be why he drove all this way? Well, we got soda. I'm sure you're thirsty. We got soda and some Halloween candy and everything. Sit down. You got water? Um, no, I'm actually out. I drank it all today. I've got root beer and Coke. <laughs> As is often the case, after a long drive, he needs to go to the bathroom. You pour yourself. You have a restroom I can use? Um, I don't know. I think it's where this Wow. Do you want to sit down? I mean, I bet you're tired, right? No, do you have a restroom? But the decoy, an actress hired by Dateline, doesn't want to let him go any further into the house where he could spot our crew. Well, why don't we just sit and talk first? I mean, we just got here. I'm going to go outside for a little bit. No, no, sit down. Come on. You said it was a long drive. That's when I step in. Hey, sir. Yeah. I need to talk to you for a minute, please. Come on over here. What's happening? Then he recognizes me. This is the show. Huh? This is the show? Which show? The... To Catch a Predator. Yes. On Dateline. Yes, sir. So even though he knows who I am, he decides to stay and talk. Sunset Liquid starts off by claiming he thinks the girl he's here to meet is 18. I'm serious. I thought it was 18. But that's not what it said in the chat log. I really don't remember, sir. Here's a little reminder. The decoy told him she was 13, and he types, I could get in big trouble by just talking to you. I could even go to prison. Have you met other girls who were this age before? No, no sir. I like to meet people from all ages. Right. All ages doesn't mean that I'm going to have a sexual encounter with somebody. That's not my intention. So you were just going to come over here and hang out? Well, she said she wanted to take photographs. I like to photograph all kinds of people. So you would never have had sex with this girl tonight? No. I would not be able to live consciously knowing that I even touch somebody. But here you say that you want to perform oral sex on her. That's touching, by the way. I want to lick it, though. The thing about online chat is a lot of it's fantasious, too. You become a different person. So you didn't think she was 13, you thought no. she was 18? You no, talked I, about performing sex acts, but you I really weren't going to go through with it. I would not have come here. You wanted to be in a fantasy world, but yet you walked into the world of reality. Well, because I like to meet different people. Do you see why those contradictions make it hard for someone I to believe your story? You I understand. I understand that. Okay. But you just said it. it. It's just a story. Now, have you ever seen the Dateline show before, To Catch a Predator? I've seen it one time. What did you think about it when you saw it? Well, it's, it's disturbing how these men are are actually wanting to have sex with these girls. Does it disturb you that you're now one of those men who's walked into the investigation? It does disturb me, but again, I don't feel at all guilty because my intentions are not to have sex with these girls. So your conscience is clean at this point? At this point, yes. Well, Eric, as you know, I'm Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on men who try to meet children online. Right. It's definitely a shame that, that I'm in this predicament. A shame why? Well, because I have a person here interviewing me and has this chat, this fantasious world that, that I was in, and that I'm here, and I don't know what the consequences are going to be when I walk out that door. What do you think? I don't know. There might be FBI, police outside that door. And Just as he suspected, authorities are waiting for him to come out the front door. Police, on the ground. On the ground. On the ground. On the ground. Come down. Come here. Come here. Like all the other men who show up at our undercover house, he's taken to the police station where his car is searched. There's the one. Open container. Investigators read him his rights and begin to question him. Now he remembers the decoy telling her age. She didn't seem like she was an underage girl. Okay. But she did say, she did tell you that she was 13, right? Right. I don't have any criminal records. 
I've never really checked that. I've never done anything in my life to hurt anybody. Okay. I just found spirituality a few years ago to help me, and I have never done this before. But apparently his spirituality didn't stop him from asking for sex with a girl who said you know, she was 13. All I can tell you is that, you know, you're being charged with a second-degree felony. So that means I can go to prison? Yes.